What's up guys, Denver Gamer back. Today I'm going to teach you how to mod your PSP. And I'll be teaching you two ways, there'll be two separate videos, so you have a decision to make. Today I'll be teaching how to do 6.60 Pro C Fix 3, okay? And in the next video I'm gonna teach you 6.61 Pro C 2. What's the difference? Fix 3, the one I'm teaching today, uh, sounds like it has better compatibility with PS1 games and better compatibility with plugins. The one I'm teaching in the next video, which is Pro C2, has a few more features, and I have read somewhere that it is more compatible with MAME games, uh, arcade games, but I can't confirm that. So you're really gonna wanna look up and do your research which one you want to install. And I'll also do a video on how to deinstall it using Chrono Switch. Uh, and kind of reverse the process. So, with all that out of the way, 6.60 Pro C's Fix 3, let's go. All right, guys, here's what you're gonna need for this project. You're gonna need your PSP and your PC, obviously. You're gonna need a mini USB cable, not a micro USB cable, a mini USB cable if you don't have one. They sell them on Amazon. If you used to have a really old cell phone and you're old enough for that, these are what used to charge those. So maybe you have one in a drawer somewhere. Also, I highly recommend you go get the Memory Stick Pro Duo Micro SD Adapter. What this allows you to do, instead of buying an old Sony Memory Stick, you can use this adapter and put a micro SD card in there. And you can do all different types of sizes. The most recommended from what I hear is 128 gigabytes. I have a 400 gigabyte one in my PSP. It took some extra formatting. I'll teach that in another video. But 32 gigabyte SD card will get you started. That costs like $8 on Amazon. So go grab one. Now, if you are starting from scratch, like I recommend, go ahead and pop your memory stick into your PSP, and this screen will pop up telling you to format it. So go left to the system settings. Now scroll down to Format Memory Stick. Do you want to format the memory stick? Yes. All data memory stick will be deleted? Yes. What this will do, will create the necessary folders on your memory stick where we will be putting items. Otherwise, you're going to be creating these folders or who knows what's on your old memory stick. Just make sure you back up any save data or other stuff on there before you start. Some other settings I recommend are switching the USB charge to on unless you have an aftermarket battery. Put USB auto connect to on, and then we're gonna scroll down here to system information, and you can see right there, we are on 6.60. So we are ready to rock. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is jailbreak our PSP. We need the Infinity website to do that. We're going to go download Infinity 2.0. So click at this link at the bottom of the web page here and put it in your downloads folder. We're going to exit out of the browser there. Open up your downloads folder and we're going to unzip this. This is a RAR file, so I'm using WinRAR. And I am going to right click and extract everything here in the downloads folder and hit the delete button and get rid of the uh, RAR file there, the zipped file. We're going to go in here and you can see there's two folders there. There's PSP Go and then there's standard. If you have a PSP Go, you're going to be wanting this file here, but I am using a standard. I'm using a 3000 model, so I'm going to want this one. Plug in your PSP to your computer, and a window should pop up. And I like to drag my windows to the side here and just uh, drag the files over. You see, there's that eBoot file I need. Go into your PSP, go into the PSP folder, go into the game folder, right click, go to new folder, and you're gonna type in UPDATE in all capital letters. It is case sensitive. Open UPDATE and drag the eBoot 
file over to the update folder. Exit out of there. And that's it. You had to move a file onto your memory stick. All right, so now back to the PSP. All right, so the next step is we're going to scroll over to the game column here, and we are going to select our memory stick and press X. There's the Infinity 2.0 program, and I couldn't catch this with my video cable. So let me show you. I had to do it with my iPhone. There we go. So hit X. That's going to start up the program. Anytime. Anytime now. All right. Press X to install Infinity. Installation complete. Press X to reboot. There you go. The first part's done. Now we're going to head back over to the computer. And we're going to get the custom firmware. And as you can see, this will boot right back up just fine. All right, so back on the computer, I have a very awesome PDF document here that two guys wrote in the PSP and PS Vita Hacks and Mods group on Facebook. I will leave a link in the description. These guys are awesome. Um, that they took the time to put this together, and they're very humble because they didn't even put their names on the thing. Um, so big props to them. Um, they didn't care to have their names mentioned here, but you can uh, go over and check out the group, PSP and PS Vita Hacks and Mods on Facebook. So go ahead and scroll down. They are gracious enough to include many links in this. Uh, document, to, but go to page four and you will see the Pro C Fix 3 download here. Go ahead and click on that. And right there, you can download this little package, download it to your downloads folder. Close out of there. Close out of there. All right, so go to your downloads folder. We will need to unzip or extract this file. So it's a WinRAR file. I'm going to extract it here and then delete the zip file or RAR file, I'm sorry. And the only one we're gonna need here is the pro update folder. You can ignore the other two folders. Plug in your PSP and let that window pop up. And it's weird. Sometimes it pops up automatically for me. Sometimes I have to find it. And you guys know I like to snap my windows in here by dragging to the side. Okay, so there's the Pro Update folder. All we need to go, do is go where we were before. So go in the PSP uh, folder, go into the Game folder, and you're going to drag that Pro Update folder right next to the Update folder we put in before. And that is done. Okay, back to the PSP. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you before is we can go over and make sure that Infinity installed correctly. So go back into the system settings and then down to the system information. And you can see it says 6.60 with a little Infinity symbol. So we are good there. So now we are going to install the custom firmware. Go back to the games column, scroll down to your memory stick, and down to Pro C Update. For some reason, my cable puts this little black box around that, but it doesn't look like that on your PSP, this little kind of black outline here, but it is what it is. I wanted to make the video look a super sexy for you. The text is very small, but you're gonna press X. And then you're going to hit X again. There we go. And now it's going to reboot. Okay, so we're going to go back over to system settings again. Go down to system information, just to double check. There you go. 
6.60 Pro C with an infinity symbol. Now we're going to go back and do one last thing. Go back up to the games column. Am I having a brain fart here? There we go. Go back to the games column. Go down to memory stick. Go back into infinity. Well, my cable couldn't catch that part again, so back over to the cell phone. You know, I was trying to make this video all nice for you guys with the overlay and everything, and now it's just turning into shit with this potato camera. Anyway, let's wait for this to boot up. There we go. Go to the left, press X, and select Pro CFW by Coldbird. What that is going to do is keep the custom firmware running on your PSP. Press the home button to exit, and you hit X. So home button, then X, it'll take you back to the main menu. One more thing I recommend doing is going back over to the system settings and formatting your memory stick again, because the custom firmware is going to format your memory stick differently, and it's going to give you different folders this time. So do the same process as before, and it'll give you a few more folders, and that's where you're going to put uh, your ROM backups of your physical games and emulators and stuff like that. I wanted to show this to you guys too. Here's the memory stick now. You can see it has an ISO folder. That is where you're going to put your um, ISO files of your PSP backups. And then it's got like a music folder. And I can't remember everything. I'm kind of getting back into this. But uh, there's places to put your emulators and your UMD videos. And we're going to have several episodes on how to, how to handle each one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big ass like a big thumbs up and subscribe if you could i'd appreciate it click the bell for notifications and i will see you guys next video